Hey everybody, welcome back to the podcast. It's Tim Heidecker here calling, uh, setting you up for another episode of uh, On Cinema, the On Cinema podcast where we talk about movies and uh, all, all kinds of movies, not just uh, comedies or dramas or documentaries or uh, anything. My guest is uh, film buff Greg Turkington. Greg, thanks for coming on. Hey guys, it's uh, always great to be here and also to read some of your letters and emails and... Uh... Oh, and Twitter too. I mean, this... Uh, uh, I noticed you're uh, c- uh, talking to a lot of the fans on Twitter. Yeah, and that's great. A lot of them have suggestions for the show, and we do read all the suggestions. We can't always uh, accommodate. <laughs> no, because people want you to do their favorite movie, and there's only so many hours in a day. So right. we well, will get. We will get to uh, some of them, though. We will, we definitely will. The guy who well, was we'll asking see. about the Lion King. Um, Probably won't get to that one, but well, we we'll will see. I'm we will not... get to some of the others. I'll make my list and then we'll go through it. Um, anyway, today's movie is a Woody Allen movie. We haven't talked about a Woody Allen movie yet. He's one of my favorite directors, and uh, mine too. And uh, uh, just from the beginning, he's always made uh, interesting, funny movies. Some of them. Um, he's a genius, definitely. Um, and it's funny because he always uh, he almost looks like he's a cartoon character or something because of the, his they had a cartoon. And... There was a cartoon with him as a as a playing himself as a cartoon. So uh, just a quick bio on him: Woody Allen got bur- uh, was famous in vaudeville and uh, and uh, Jackie Glee, like uh, t- old TV shows and stuff, and then got his own movie. So uh, he made his own movies early on in the '60s. And then made kept making them and became more and more famous for him. Of course, he made movies like uh, Annie Hall and uh, uh, there's a, and bananas, bananas and uh, uh, oh, Manhattan, Manhattan. Anyways, but the movie we're going to talk about today is a little bit different. It's called um, Scenes from a Mall, starring Woody Allen and Bette Midler. And this one's one of my favorites. It's very funny. Bette Midler is always, uh, I've always liked her. She's very funny in this. She's funny in everything she does. She's a great singer. If you ever saw Beaches, she's got a dramatic side too. That movie, um, oh, broke my heart. Mm -hmm. And um, so it's good to see her paired with Woody because together uh, they make a great team. Yeah, it is sort of like a modern day uh, film, like a Lucy and... uh... Uh, whoever the other guy was in that show, but uh, Desi, the, Mr. Desi Arnaz. Yeah. So the movie takes place at a mall, and everyone thinks it's kind of a um, a good premise because you know we all picture Woody sort of walking the streets in New York, kind of taking it. Uh, you know, not they have the last mall, place you see. In New Let me York, just finish though. my thought. But they do if, have malls in New York. I understand, but the the my point is the the, la- the last place you'd picture him would be in sort of a. Uh, at a mall, he'd be, be like sort of down in the I could picture him at a mall or something. New York, which I love the village, you know, the, when I'm in. But New I York. could easily picture him at a mall because it doesn't matter how big of a star you are, and I don't think there's many stars bigger than Woody Allen. But um, you've got to shop. You know, I know. You've got to, you've got to get uh, new slacks and new I know, shoes. But and... My point is that's what makes the comedy of the film work is because you're putting a character that you wouldn't normally see in mall in a mall, and that's why he's such a great director is he's able to see. What's funny about a situation? Because if you put somebody where they don't belong, then that becomes funny. Yeah, that's, but I, that's, I, I think that's a that, rule of comedy. I think that most stars do shop at malls. I think it's not out of the question that you would see Woody Allen at a mall. All right, well, check it. It's one of my favorite movies of his. It's very funny, very disrespectful, um, and sort of irreverent, uh, in a in the in a in the most beautiful. In the, in the best way possible. Yeah, um, I think Woody Allen defined uh, modern film comedy, and we should tip our hat to him and see this movie and uh, buy it. You know, if, if you if you have the money and, and uh, you want to own something, add it to your film library. That's this right. Own a piece of history, which is one of Woody's greatest movies, starring Bette Midler, of course, starring Woody Allen himself. And uh, anybody else in this movie that okay, I'm, I'm forgetting? Ah. <sighs> I mean, there's a, it's a big cast. All his movies have a big cast. He works with a lot of the same people every time, and yeah. uh, they're sort of like family. That's what makes his movies so great. Is it's uh, like spending time with family. All right. Well, thank you very much, Greg, for coming in and uh, doing this with me. Yeah. I appreciate your help. Glad I could help. And uh, thanks again to all our fans and to Mr. Woody Allen. And thanks to Woody Allen, not his real name, but that's for another night. All right. Take care and uh, have a great week. <laughs>